morning, everyone, from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. It's a glorious day today because I woke up and it's a new day to praise Elohim, to have overflowing thanksgiving and gratitude. Psalm 100, verse 4, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. I want to encourage you today to be self-respecting. We need to have people in our lives who will love us, accept us, and cheer us on. And we need to do the same for others. And God is a wonderful one of matchmaking, of bringing people together for his good pleasure and his glory. And he challenges us. The Proverbs say, iron sharpens iron as a friend sharpens another's countenance. We want to be in God-ordained relationships. Doesn't mean they're easy, but God is using us to help one another be better people. And after all, we were created in the image of God. And in ourselves, we don't see ourselves, which I think is very comical. We do not see ourselves. I don't think that will ever change. And this is why it's so important that we have people in our lives, in our inner circle that we can be accountable to, that we can speak life into one another, that we can hear from God, be faithful, and deliver that word. And as I've said recently, what people choose to do with that is their own business, but we need to be faithful to God. And people's lives have truly changed and moved in the direction God had from them because he used his people to speak into each other's lives. So important. Be self-respecting. Communicate a message to yourself with a godly love. I am valuable. The scripture says if it was just me or just you, Yeshua would have gone to his execution stake. Knowing the joy that was set before him, he rose from the dead and he humiliated every demonic force in this universe. Hallelujah. My God is triumphed valiantly and in him I am presently triumphing. Go with God today. Continue to run the race. Get people in your lives who will cheer you on. Now, I'm not talking about ministry. Ministry is something else. We go and we do and we minister wherever the Lord has us. But I'm talking about friendships where we can be real. We can speak the truth in love. We can call one another up higher. And our desire is to be the best me and the best you that we possibly can. Let's go with God today. In Yeshua's name, amen.